what are you nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for magi labyrinth and magic chapter 329 and i'm sorry this is late of course this chapter had to come out on thanksgiving and as you can tell i'm not exactly in this a struggle apartment studios right now i'm actually at my mom's struggle house and the internet is not the best also you'll see in another video um, what I did on my Thanksgiving. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to this live reaction. So last chapter, Sinbad fucking admitted to Aladdin and, um, and Alibaba that he did mess with the Rook. And, um, this was like near the end of the chapter. I want to focus on that part of the chapter, last chapter. Anyway, they start debating about it, and, like, Sinbad is just, I'm telling you, Barbarossa fucking influenced the shit out of Sinbad. He corrupted Sinbad. I, I, I swear to God, politically, he corrupted Sinbad through his propaganda. Go read Sinbad and Woken if you don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, so, basically, he's trying to mind fuck Aladdin and Alibaba, and Alibaba's gonna make the final choice. The thing is, and I don't think Simba realizes this, is that he can't manipulate Alibaba, um, Alibaba's Rook or Aladdin's Rook in all reality because um, Aladdin is, first of all, from Armathorin and also um, he and the son of Solomon to boot. And Alibaba is his king vessel, so he's not going to be affected by it. Anyway, without further ado, let's see what Alibaba's decision is. He, Alibaba, please don't fuck this up or I'm going to punch you in the face. Um, here we go. So Simba starts, it stops, starts off like this. It's true that I rewrote the Rook in the sacred palace. I gave the people of the world the shared hope of a single king to look up to. Wait a minute. Doesn't this sound familiar? I'm just thinking. This sounds very familiar. It sounds like what happened with David. Yeah, it's, this is basically what David did in on the Thorin. Just saying. Sinbad and Aladdin argue over the way the world should be. That's wrong. You have no right to do um, do such a thing. Damn straight. But don't you think that it is arrogant of Aladdin, the Magi of Alma Thorin, to stick his nose into the affairs of our world? Alibaba. Wait, Al yeah, Alibaba. No, well, by the way, am I still myself? <laughs> What do you mean? Uh, the greedy king of men is the chap what the chapter's called. I love it. My rook was overwritten as well, right? In that case, what I'm thinking now isn't coming purely from myself, but has been altered by you, Sinbad. <gasps> ooh, Aladdin is just like, ooh, Alibaba? No. Just like Aladdin, your rook was unaffected by my will. You're an enigma, Alibaba. Well, no shit. Thanks for... Sinbad is... Proving my theory right now. It's because Alibaba is the king vessel. So dying once may be different from everyone else, huh? Wait. Oh, so it's because he died once. In a way, Alibaba is like Sinbad, if you think about it, because they both died once and came back to life, both in different ways. Sinbad it was with his root. Uh, because of his control over destiny and with the help of the um, Dinjin. With Alibaba, it was a little different. If you remember, this was like a while ago when Alibaba came back um, with, the, with uh, the dragon, and this was his adventures with, um, with uh, Judar. Anyway, then allow me to say this. Aladdin, eh, me? Don't be so impudent when speaking to Sinbad, eh? Eh, have you been brainwashed as well? <laughs> huh, it's all right, I'm still me. You know, Aladdin, Sinbad has been thinking about how to improve the world just like us. Sinbad wants to eliminate conflict from this world, too, so let's stop arguing with him, okay? O okay. Sinbad, I really enjoyed our business contest. What? And I wondered why it was so enjoyable. It was Masoru who gave me the answer when he told me not to get on your case so much. Sinbad, you're the person I admire the most in the world, the most incredible person out there, but you're just a human being, same as me. Damn straight. You tell him, Alibaba. Because you and I are fellow men, exactly, and that is why I didn't go the way we uh, that, and that is why things didn't go the way we wanted, and we clashed, um, became trouble, and rejoiced in the same um, arena because we didn't know what would happen next. It was really entertaining, really exciting, 
And yet you've become a god now, haven't you? Now you can make things go the way you want them to every time, can't you? We can't have our business competition anymore because it'd be boring for a god, wouldn't it? Oh, Alibaba, I see what you're doing. You sneaky little shit. Alibaba, I feel lonely, Sinbad. Oh, he is totally mine fucking with Sinbad right now. He's trying to. He's being a politician. I love it. Um, Alibaba, do you know how the world is structured? How this world is structured? I, I, I love you, Alibaba. You are so fucking smart. Eh? This world was ruled by a single god. That was the role Ugo played. I met him in the sacred palace. You met him in the sacred palace, uncle? Yeah, he gone completely insane. Eh? W what do you mean? The universe is made up of countless layers of worlds with different gods existing in each of those worlds, and Ugo obtained the frightening ability to switch places in that order. If you had Ugo's power, you could send Aladdin into this world um, and switch positions with Il uh, Ila and stealing its power. Protecting this world was so simple, and yet why do you think he wanted to, um, to use mankind to get rid of El Ila and Al Thamen? Sinbad? Because he didn't possess my ambition. Whoa, but I thought fucking Ugo was crazy. People who don't have dreams or desires have no choice but to play the roles others give them. But I, Sinbad, am different. Sinbad, you are an egotistical motherfucker, and you are definitely sounding like Orange Senpai right now. If there is a god, I will surpass him, then ascend even higher, and continue to surpass the gods above him. Oh my god, you are sounding like Bach right now. You are totally sounding like Bach. This feels like a Bach speech. This feels like when Bach was talking about, um... Uh, the Soul King. That's what this feels like. I don't know if any of you nerdigans are feeling like this. We didn't have the same exact speech, but like it's very similar. Um, forever. Why would uh, that, I forgot to say forever? Why would you do such a thing? Because I want to. <laughs> That's one thing I love about Zimbad. He just doesn't beat around the bush. He's just like, fuck it. I'm going to say how, say how I feel. And for that, I'm thinking of remaking this world's Rook anew. Yeah, your black Rook from David's in there, you dumbass. But what would that mean? Everyone will die, right? Even your people and your comrades. Oh, God, exactly! But with that power, I will be able to reach new unseen heights. I promise to bring you two with me. It'll be a blast. It'll be a blast. Oh, my fucking God. So, Simba, you don't give a... I'm telling you, Jafar's gonna be the one to fucking kill him. He doesn't give a fuck. He's gonna kill Jafar and his family for this shit. He doesn't give a fuck. You're wrong, Uncle. I'm never wrong. Open your eyes. Whoa, that is scary. Open your eyes, Aladdin. If there are countless gods, then neither justice nor evil exist. Um. Oh my, I'm still not accustomed to this body. Oh my god, his arm fell off! Simad, you're no longer human. I am human, which is why I follow my dreams. Greedier than any god in any dimension, the king of man. That is Simbad. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> This chapter, oh my god, Moggy, I love you. You're you're doing like this is what I think Kubo wanted to do with Bach, but Moggy is doing it right. Like, if it wasn't for Shonen Jump, like Sinbad is Bach. He fucking is Bach. He just is. He's Bach, but he's like a more he's a more badass of fucked up version of Bach. He's not the he's not the supreme troll god that is reserved for Fred because it's been according to his plan for thousands of years. Sinbad is up there in the troll rankings. I, I, I can tell you that. He is way up there, but oh my god. I'm still telling you, I'm still going with my guns because what's gonna happen is Aladdin and Alibaba are gonna tell or or it's not even uh, Aladdin and Alibaba won't run and tell Jafar and them. No, Jafar's gonna catch them fighting right now. That is what's gonna happen. It's gonna happen either next chapter or the chap or chapter after that. That is what's gonna happen. But I wanna know what you nerdigans think about this. Do you think that this is when we're gonna see the set the his friends that he made in Sinbad no Boken? Do you think this is when the tide is gonna turn against Sinbad? It's gonna happen soon. It will. His friends are going to betray him. They're not going to stick with him, especially if they know he's going to kill everybody. This is like Zamasu and shit, too, if you think about it. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. 
And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Nerdigans Inc. And if you love what I'm doing and want to um, contribute to the Nerdigans Inc. expansion, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can donate to the Nerdigans Inc. Patreon or purchase something off the Nerdigans Inc. Amazon wish list. Both links are in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on the Twits, aka Twitter, um, my Twitch channel, and friend me on PlayStation Network. And until next time, my fellow Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!